Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you are watching VectorWart. In today's video, we will take a look at the tree data grid view of Avalonia. This control from Avalonia UI framework will display hierarchical and tabular data together in a single view. It is a combination of a tree view and a grid view control. This control has two modes of operation. One is hierarchical, data is displayed in a tree with optional columns and the second one would be the flat and the data is displayed in a 2D table similar to other data grid controls. So we'll take a look at the two examples for these two types. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first let's open Visual Studio and click on create a new project. I'll select Avalonia.NET MVVM app from my recent templates. You can also select it from the templates uh, here. Uh, if you do not find the templates, uh, then please uh, take a look at my previous videos where I have explained how to install Avalonia in Visual Studio. So uh, next, uh, let's enter the project name and click on create. Let me select desktop from the platform. And from the design pattern, I'll select Community Toolkit. And next, and I'll click on Create. Okay, so now that the project is loaded, let me run this application once before we make any more changes. Okay, so there were no errors. So now next we can um, begin with the installation of the uh, control itself. So let me close this, go to tools, NuGet package manager and manage NuGet packages. And here we need to add the Avalonia control tree grid view uh, NuGet package. And uh, here let's go to browse and search for tree grid or tree data grid. Let's select this and select our project and let's install. So the installation is complete. Uh, let's close this. Next, uh, we need to make some changes to our app.xaml file. So let's go to solution explorer and open app.xaml file. And here on the under the fluent theme, let's add the style.include so next uh, let's start by creating a flat tree data grid so there are two parts to a tree data grid the source which is defined in the code and describes how your data model will map to the rows and columns of the grid and the second is the control which can be instantiated from an xaml or the uh, code and describes how the grid will appear. This source uh, is usually defined at the view model layer if you are using MVVM pattern, but you can also define it in the code behind. Uh, I am using the MVVM pattern, so this is how I will uh, code it. So let's start uh, by first creating a data model. So the data model is your source data that will be displayed in the tree data grid and uh, will be uh, specific to your application. So let's go to Solution Explorer and let's create a class. Let's name it person. Let me paste in the code here that I have. So I have created a simple public class called person with these three properties, first name, last name and age. So next uh, we create a view model so let's go to our solution explorer and under view models, we have our main view model. So let's open this. And right now it displays welcome to Avalonia, which we will replace with our core. So in this, uh, so in this view model, I have added an observable collection of type person, uh, the data model that we created. And I have added these values to the person class. So the first name, last name and the age. 
so this observation uh, observable collection which will allow the tree data grid to listen to changes in the data and automatically update the ui so next i will add some piece of code that will tie things together so let me paste it over here and uh, let me change this to main view model so this is the constructor for the class and uh, the source uh, defines uh, the source defines how the map how to map the data model to rows and columns because we are displaying a non hierarchical data we will use a flat tree grid source of type person uh, the flat tree grid source is a generic class uh, where the type parameter represents uh, the data model type in this case uh, the person the constructor uh, to flat data grid source accepts a collection of type i enumerable of t to which we will pass our data set and uh, we will create this uh, we have created this source in the main view model constructor and we have added these three columns uh, and expose this in the source property of this flat tree greater source so the column above are defined as text columns uh, and uh, this text column is a generic class that accepts the data model type and a value type so here you see we have uh, a data model type and the value type and uh, the first parameter is the header to the displayed in the column and the second parameter is the lambda expression which selects the value to the display from the data model so here you can see the value and the uh, lambda expression so next uh, it's time to now add the tree data grid view control to a window and bind it to our data source so let's go back to our window And here, uh, let's make changes. So previously there was this uh, text box which uh, displayed the hello greetings. So let's add the tree data grid view here. Let's set the source property equal to bindings and bind it to our source. And let's close this let's save and here you can see uh, you have the data grid created with the properties or the with the values that we inserted in our model uh, over here and um, let's run this application and see this in action so here we have our uh, flat data grid view from Avalonia. So next we will uh, take a look at the other option that is the hierarchical data grid view. So to do that let's stop this application and make some changes to our uh, model and the view model. So in our model we will add one more property uh, called the observable collection of type person and uh, the property name will be children. So let's do that. So let's add it over here and um, it is called as children and it only has the get property next uh, we will make some changes to our main view view model or the main view model and let's add a data set and this time this data set that we have here uh, needs to be modified so that it uh, has this additional property called children uh, which will in turn have other uh, children attributes uh, of type person so let's do that change so let me remove this and paste in my code. So we store the data in our again in our observable collection, uh, which allows the tree grid view to listen to changes in the data and automatically update the UI. Uh, next, uh, we will make some more changes to our main view model uh, constructor and so let me paste in my code over here and I'll explain what are the changes that we have done. So we have moved from uh, a flat tree data grid to a hierarchical data grid and even the columns that we have added are the hierarchical ones and uh, the property that we have created is also a hierarchical tree data grid source property of type person.
so uh, the source defines how the how to map the data model to the rows and columns because we are displaying a hierarchical data we will use a hierarchical tree data grid source of type person uh, it is a generic class where the type parameter represents the data model type in this case uh, person the constructor to this hierarchical data tree uh, source accepts collection of type i enumerable of t to which we'll pass our data set we have created this source in the main view model constructor and added three columns and exposed the source in a property. The first column uh, above here is defined as a hierarchical expander column. Its first property, uh, uh, its first constructor parameter defines how the data in the column will be displayed. For this, we are using a text column. And uh, if you see the details in the construct, uh, constructor parameters, the second parameter of the expander column uh, constructor is a lambda expression, which selects the property which will contain the children of each row. Uh, the remaining columns uh, are also defined as text column. Again, uh, this text column is a generic class that accepts the data model type and value type. The first parameter of the text uh, column is a header and uh, the second parameter is a lambda expression which selects the value to display from the data model so let's add this uh, uh, to our grid view so there is no change uh, since we have uh, made the changes in the code behind in the constructor uh, by changing the type from a flat to a hierarchical data uh, all we have to do is now run the application and the tree grid view will automatically uh, change so let me save and run the application So here you can see we have a parent and each uh, if you have defined a children in the data source like we did here in our view model uh, over here. So if you have done that, then you will find these children in, uh, under the parent rows. So here uh, under Eleanor, you see Marcel and under Jeremy, you see Jane and Leah. So uh, this is how uh, simple it is to create these three data grids in Avalonia. Uh, Note that the current uh, the control is currently in beta stage and uh, as such there will be bugs, missing features and lacking documentation but the control should be generally usable and performant. So that was all on uh, the Abelonia tree data grid. Hope you all liked watching this video. If you do please give this video a thumbs up, like, share and do subscribe to my channel. Till then, bye bye.